Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. My name is Jeremiah Aha. I'm a counselor here on the hearyou.org team in partnership with Brother Buell. And this video will be covering neurodevelopmental disorders. Now, something to start out, and you've probably heard it on other videos, it's important to mention that the information in this video is not intended to treat or diagnose a medical or a mental health condition. It also doesn't contain the full scope of the diagnostic features in this case for neurodevelopmental disorders. And finally, if you or someone you know is experiencing a psychiatric or mental health emergency or crisis, there's three supports that are available to you for immediate support. Number one is dialing 911. Number two is texting HELP, H-E-L-P, to 741-741. And finally, visit your nearest emergency room. All right, let's jump in. Neurodevelopmental disorders. This is a group of conditions that typically show up in early childhood. So think kindergarten and younger for these particular conditions. These can include, but they're not limited to, a uh, intellectual disability, a speech or language disorder, um, ADHD or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, autism spectrum disorders, Tourette syndrome. These are the group of conditions that can be underneath the umbrella of neurodevelopmental disorders. The main thing you need to take away, actually there's a couple of things. Number one is that typically these have a lot to do with some genetic or heredity factors for it. So it may not necessarily be the environment that a child is growing up in. It may also have to do with what's happened to their parents or their parents' parents. Some of these conditions may be running the family. Number two, which is probably more important, is if you or someone you know, maybe a, a child that, that you provide care to, or someone you really care about, you may think they have um, one of these conditions. This is not um, the end destiny for them. In fact, they, along with anyone else, can enjoy a fulfilling, happy, and meaningful life. There are plenty of resources, support groups, treatments, and um, all kinds of supports available to you if any type of neurodevelopmental disorder is something that you or someone you know is living with. Um, typically, a, a great way to start out if, if you think someone might be experiencing one of these is a visit to the primary care physician or to your general doctor. Starting there can be a great way to get an assessment or the process going on seeing if one of these things is affecting uh, you or someone you know. Also, as I mentioned kind of kindergarten or before, there are resources available for you or for the family for that student. So special education classes, maybe there are some um, extra uh, provisions that are made available, some accommodations for the student. If there's some extra time they may need to reach some of the same kind of learning check marks or developmental check marks as other students. Okay, so if you have any other questions, please reach out to a medical or mental health professional. Again, my name is Jeremiah Aha here with hearyou.org in partnership with Brother Be, Brother Be Well, reminding you, Brother Be Well.